multiple violent crimes and shootings in our city. They've taken hundreds of guns off our streets in just the past few weeks. News Channel 8's Jameson Kefover is live with details on dozens of arrests, but officers aren't done yet. Jameson? Well, several violent offenders have walked right through these doors behind me, and in this investigation alone, 61 people have been arrested, many of them under the age of 18. And police say this is a large chunk of the offenders they think are linked or connected to those shootings or violent crimes in Tulsa, and now they're off the streets. Well, we're seeing a lot of people with guns in general. It doesn't matter what age, but yes. Uh, it is a concern when 16 and 15 year olds are, are running around with uh, with guns. And the Tulsa not, Police Crime Gun Unit discussed uh, th their is, efforts this, to stop uh, gun violence in Tulsa streets. In. TPD is looking into groups who are linked to several shootings and violent crimes in the city. In the past month, 61 arrests have been made, leading to 115 felony charges. The unit has also recovered 203 guns from these offenders. That's where we're at. It's not necessarily just focusing on guns which would probably make Oklahomans nervous. That's not what we're doing. We're looking at young individuals that are intending to kill or harm others by using guns. So if we do intercept the guns in the hands of those individuals, it's, it's a good thing. It's a win-win for the public, and it's a win-win for the people downtown so somebody doesn't catch a stray round. They said many of these recovered guns were stolen, so Tolsons need to be cautious about where and how they store their guns. Since April, 81 incidents in the city were linked to these groups. The investigation started a month ago, and crime attributed to these groups is down 95%, according to TPD. One weekend, one of these groups was responsible for seven shootings in a weekend. Um, that's a lot, but if we're talking 20 to 25 shootings by that group in a period of two weeks, we basically shut that faucet off to the point where they had these groups had one shooting that we can attribute to them in 30 days. He said these groups are using younger individuals to commit these crimes, thinking they won't be on police radar, but that's not the case. There are about 100 TPD officers on the investigation, as well as ATF and FBI agents assisting. TBD says their efforts aren't over yet. They couldn't go into many specifics about who these individuals are, what the crimes they committed are, because they're still looking into these groups and trying to catch other people that could be linked to these crimes. Live in downtown Tulsa, Jamison Keefe over News Channel 8.